Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to this live. Today we're going to be talking about what you need to do if you want to be an awarded actor. And so it might be a little bit of a sticky topic, it might be a little bit of a explosive topic. And so let me first talk a little bit about what I mean by an awarded actor. Um, so what I mean is not being successful or famous um, or a star or a celebrity. That's not what we're interested in because you can do that in many other ways and it has nothing to do with acting. It actually is a consequence maybe of acting, but it's actually, I'm not going to talk to the part of you guys that maybe wants to be a celebrity or to the ones of you that are only in it for this, because really for me, that's empty and shallow and, dev and devoid of any interest. Um, <clears throat> I see acting as an opportunity to be fully alive, defending a character's life that will in turn impact an audience with your truth and your humanity and will therefore wake up an audience to their truth and their humanity. So to me, acting is the modern mythology and um, humans have always been um, using mythology to communicate with each other, to transmit what they have experienced or learned to help each other out from the beginning of time, um, everywhere in the world. On, you know, cave walls, people would draw things in order for the next ones to be more aware of what's happening. So this is what you guys are doing as actors. You're modern mythologists. You're here to transmit some truth to the next people after you or the people besides you so that they can benefit from that truth. So again, and putting celebrity status as a as a side effect um, um, that that's not what I'm going to be talking about. So being awarded means it pretty much it was, if we want to translate that to another industry would mean that you've delivered a masterpiece. So that could be painting, that could be singing, that could be sculpting, that could be anything else. It's a masterpiece. So it stands out from everything that's been done before. It stands out because it's unique. It stands out because it's different. It stands out because it's never existed before. So it doesn't, you don't do a masterpiece because it's better or because it's the best. It's really just a thing of its own. It, it exists and it's part of the world and it's true. And it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be to be looking good. It doesn't have to please everyone. So when you're able to produce your own masterpiece as an actor in a movie, some of you may think that, oh, when I start getting an award, like all my problems will be fixed because then I'll get some job offers. I'll, roles would be offered to me if I get to that point. And I won't have to worry about money anymore and I'll be, you know, validated and recognized and I'll just keep getting more and more work and I'll be connected and I'll have a network and like, yeah, all the problems will be fixed. Everything will be different. And I, I just want to say, because we work with people who are from all levels, that I just want to say that things might change in your life once you have more work, but you stay the same. So your relationship to yourself, your relationship to your emotions, to your heart, to your head, to your soul, to your gut, everything that has to do with you does not change with your circumstances. So having a Lamborghini or your picture on a magazine will not change how you feel when you're driving back home. I just remember seeing a little clip from Kate Winslet saying um upset that you know like people make such a big deal of how women look on red carpets and she was annoyed by that because she was saying like please just realize what this is and how this is damaging to younger generations we're just wearing those dresses once a year and it's very uncomfortable and we hate it and we can't wait to get back in a taxi and take off that dress and put our pajamas on and fart basically and eat chips that's what she was saying so you are not changing with being awarded. Actually, your life doesn't change. There's just more stuff in it, right? But how you're going to relate to that stuff 
is still going to be how you relate to stuff now. But so that put on the side, I still want to address the fact that some of you, probably most of you, want to have consistent work, regular work, the kind of meaningful roles that you want, that can make an impact, that can fulfill you, and can make an impact on an audience. And that's a very valid goal to have. To feel great when you act, not to suffer when you act, to actually feel great, not to feel blocked, not to feel tense, not to not be able to sleep at night, not to feel anxious and full of doubt, to actually feel great when you're working on it, when you're auditioning for it, when you're doing it, like to really enjoy the entire process of your art is definitely going to be a prerequisite for you to get to your masterpiece level. So to really enjoy it, and to have such a meaningful role that you're cast for, because you're enjoying it, that you're having a very big impact on your audience. And then you stand out and you're noticed and people see you and they feel you. They experience you because you're so truthful that they want to give you a little sticker for standing out. Right? That's, that's what I mean. So, again, I, I want to make sure that we're not being delusional about, oh, I'm an actor and the day that I'll have an Oscar or an award, everything will change. By the way, next week, the reason why I'm doing this now is next week we're having a challenge. It's called From OK to Oscar Worthy Performances. And so make sure you sign up. We have a link in the bio so that you can sign up. It's a free um, challenge. It's the whole week. We're going to train together. We're going to do very short little um, trainings and exercises every day so that you can see clearly what is going on in your acting career, what you're dealing with, what's in your way, what's blocking you, what's preventing you from actually getting to your Oscar worthy performances so that you can change a little bit what's not a little bit drastically what's happening in your career so that you can be noticed so that you do stand out so that you do get access to the meaningful roles that you actually want so you get to that next level and things can start to change but I think that what I would like to do will go deep into that training during next week Monday to Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific uh, Pacific Standard Time and every day we'll do an exercise and we'll move the needle but what I want to um to really attract your attention to um is what's not going to make you get to your masterpiece what's not going to get you to be awarded uh, all the horrible legends that are part of the culture in this industry all the horrible things that you learn in acting school all, all of those horrible acting rules that you have to be a good actor that you have to be better than others that you have to be the best actor that you have to look a certain way that you have to do scenes a certain way that you have to know how you do your scene that you have to be super confident that you have to have a very high self-esteem that you have to be very calm before you act that you have to work hard that you should know your lines all the way like all of these what are they i don't know there are these legends these rules these legendary rules about traditional acting that actually thank you jose that actually make no sense to make you be able to be fully alive in the moment and will not lead to you feeling great when you act will not lead for you to be able to defend your character when you're acting because you'll be busy with your ego trying to look good trying to be better than the others trying to be liked trying to do it right trying to please the casting director none of that is the way to a masterpiece there is no recipe to a masterpiece there is no recipe to you winning an award the second you're trying to be the best to get an award to book the second you're trying to think of the result, look where my hand is. It's gone. It's in the future. The future doesn't even exist. You're here in the present. If there is one ounce of your energy that's busy trying to manipulate the outcome, the result, what people will think of you, how much people will love you and like you and think you're the best, you're not here. You're not being the character who's living his circumstance and his needs. So what I want to alert your attention to is I think all the actual horrible lies that you've been told in the acting industry, in the acting school, in acting education, in acting like 
traditional approaches that tell you there's a method, there's a technique, you should do it a certain way, you have to learn this and that, you should break down your script in eight steps. All of those things are actually the things that are making you feel less and less connected to your truth, your freedom, your opinion, your instinct, your intuition. Guess who are the best actors in the world? Little people. Yeah, they didn't go to acting school. Why are they so free? Why are they so truthful? Because they didn't go to acting school. Because they haven't been programmed. Because they haven't been conditioned. Guess who else are the most awarded actors? All the actors who didn't go to acting school. So I want to attract your attention really on, like, be careful. Be aware. I just want to make it very... I, I just want this to be part of the culture. You are enough. You are actually perfect. You are all it takes. You are alive. The job description is for you to bring full aliveness to the character. The job description is not for you to act well. The job description is not for you to be confident. The job description is not to look good, not to please the casting director, not to do it right. There is no such thing in acting or in any art for that matter. There is no cookie cutter, quick fix, quick tip, eight step method to be a brilliant actor. Everything that is not coming from you is taking you away from you. Is taking you away from your own authority. If you start listening to an acting teacher or your acting coach that you go to for every audition and you do what they say, guess whose audition it is now? Guess who's not in the room? It's about you. You are enough. You are perfect. You have everything it takes. The only thing that's in the way is everything you've learned. So the only thing that's left to do is to unlearn it. It's never, ever, ever going to be about how good of an actor you are. It's about how free of a human being you are, how purposeful you are, how truthful you are. How, how much are you you when you audition? Are you 100% you, open, present, available, free? If you're not, it's great. You know it. So address it. Don't keep doing the same thing. Don't look for another authority figure. Don't look for another teacher. Don't look for someone who knows more than you how to be you. They don't. It's only about you. You're an artist. You're not a student at school. You're an artist. People want to experience you. The real you. The truthful you. The fully alive you, the present you, the free you, the purposeful you, the soulful you. When they experience that, it's a masterpiece. Because you're there. Everything else but you makes you not be there. Looking good, you're not there. You're in your mask. Trying to please the character, uh, the casting director, you're not there. You're in the future. Trying to do it right, you're not there. You're in a delusion that there is a right way to do a scene. Trying to be better than others, you're not there. You're in competition world. It's about you being capable to be here right now with nothing else but your truth, no matter what that truth is. It's not about doing the scene right. There is no right way. Two actors will always do the same scene very different ways, the same movie very different ways, and they'll both be awarded if they're brilliant. What we want is you. What everybody is looking for is you. The casting director is looking for you. The audience is looking for you. They're not looking for you to respect the script. The script is done. It's going to be respected. You're going to say the words. We want your life in those words.